Oh, um, I think it's important to even just focus on if you can walk away from a networking event and if you've just made one sound relationship and one sound contact, I, I think that's a big win. If that is someone and perhaps you identify, you want to identify someone, quite frankly, that may may at least appear to be well networked and that knows a lot of other people in the room. So if you have the ability to make a strong connection with that person and then try to, in an, in a non-aggressive, respectful way, try to make a contact with that person, follow up with that person. I'm a big believer of even the written note, the old fashioned. I still have personal stationery. I still write thank yous with my business card. I think just, to, and it doesn't need to be some uh, dissertation. I believe that that additional personal touch and follow up is extraordinarily meaningful and really can help differentiate you in a crowded field. And that, so it's a process, it's a step. And if you can just make one, and, and again, you need to think about is what can you bring to that person? Um, and also it's okay to ask that person for help. I think it's very reasonable, but it needs to be a reason. It needs to be a respectful, reasonable question <laughs> or, uh, of what that help may be. It can't involve a tremendous amount of time from that person for which you're asking help. But Tom, to your point, if you could focus on trying to make a sound connection with one of the thought leaders, make sure you follow up with that person. Maybe you have an ask of them, an, a small ask. And if there's one thing that you can do to try to help them or offer to help them, I think is a great start. And if you just keep doing that, uh, um, that will grow over time and your sphere will evolve. But it takes time. 